back to my channel it's alice walker here from alice walker Adult london i just filmed an eyebrow tutorial video and yeah so now we're going to be doing the makeup look the look we're going to be doing today is a holiday makeup look you know the holiday season is coming i will be doing a couple of our holiday looks so this is the first holiday look that i'm actually doing at the moment i hope you guys like this look if you like this look please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and come be a part of my youtube family so guys let's get on with the look most of my looks are very simple, very easy to follow. I like to keep my makeup looks quite simple. As usual, I always go in with my eye makeup first. I actually didn't even plan this look. I don't know what look I'm doing, but yeah, we're going to be doing something. I normally do that where I don't plan my looks and I just come and sit out here and have to now think on the spot what I'm going to do. I'm going to conceal my eye as usual with the LA Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. I stuck my fingers together. I stuck my fingers together. Can you imagine? It was so painful to get them off. Hair is in my eye. I wanted to put some nails on. You know when you're filming a tutorial, it's nice to have a nice nails. I decided to put some nails on and the glue went everywhere. It got all over my hand. <sighs> there it is. Look, it was so painful like really painful to get them off and I had to actually yank it off which was <laughs> quite painful my eyelid creases really badly so I always put powder on it makes the application of the eyeshadow quite easy and um, it goes on quite smoothly as well I have been loving this palette lately my Morphe so it's Morphe 3502 I've been loving this palette that's the palette we're going to be using today. I seem to gravitate towards this one here. We're going to be using that as a transition shade. I can't tell you the, the names because I've taken it off. It came with a, a plastic sleeve on top of it with all the names on it, but I don't know where they are. going to be going for a youthful kind of look I'm actually packing the color on the outer corner of my eyes and then we're actually going to blend in a little bit later I'm going to be using this shade to blend the toppy the shade there see how it's blending in pretty nicely blend in really, really well because you don't want to know and then we're going to blend this in as well. Now we're going to go over with invites only. There it is. Ooh, this is gorgeous. using the Fenty Pro Filter True Matte um, Primer and like I said I usually don't put primer all over my face I'm just going to be dabbing it there and I like to dab it in because it helps foundation stay in place
going to be using the LA Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. I like my nose already, but you know, I like to just enhance it a bit. That's it. As usual, we're going to be using this small beauty blend that I always use to blend it. Right, don't worry guys if it's, I mean, this one, if it's not blended properly because I'm actually going to go over with the big beauty blender. I'm going to leave the one under my eye till the last because I want it, that's where I want it mostly highlighted. I mean, you don't really need to do this step, but I like it, I like to do it. We'll leave the nose till the last, so now we're going to blend in the one under the eye. Ooh, child, it's got in my eye. I'm bringing it a little bit down because my face is not very long and I'm trying to make it look a little bit longer than it actually is. I'm blending it down a little bit more because you know my face is not that long. I mean it's not short and it's not that long and I like to just elongate my face a little bit so I blend it down just and when you blend it down it makes your face a little bit longer. It gives you that illusion that you've got a longer face. And if you've got a longer face and you want to shorten your face as well, you know, just blend it. Don't bring it all the way down. Just keep it there at the top there. And it will give you the illusion of a, sh a slightly shorter face. Now I'm going to go with my big beauty blender. It's all like broken. But today we're actually going to contour. This is what I always use to do my contour, which is the L'Oreal Infallible. It's actually a foundation stick, but I normally use it as a contour. At the top, I like to bring it all the way up to the top because I like the high cheek. They will do a little dot there. I don't want to put it at the top. If I put it at the top, then it's going to give it an illusion of a shorter forehead, which I don't want at the moment. I just want an illusion of a like a slimmer forehead. So I'm going to be doing it on the sides. I'll just put three dots on the sides. That's how I normally do it. That's how I like mine. This brush is very, very dense. It blends really, really well. Okay, now we're going to blend this in. Okay, I'm going to use a smaller. I think I'll use this one. That's it. Right, then I'm going to use that smaller one to blend it in because I'm not trying to look crazy out here. I'm not trying to go out there. So now we're going to actually um, uh, put the powder on. I'm not baking. I'm not baking. You know, I'm just going to press the powder in. If you're an oily person, try and press the powder in. With the one other thing, when you're ready to put the powder on and it's creased, if it's creased, this is what I do. I put either a little bit more concealer on or I just go ahead and blend it again if you crease easily like I do now I normally crease under my eye when I put foundation I always crease on the top of my lid so if you crease easily um, before you put a powder on do not put the powder on top of the creases try and blend it in you know try and use that to blend it in blend the creases in and uh, before you put your powder on because if you don't do that and you put a powder on it's going to be more pronounced and you do not want that you do not want your lights to be more pronounced it's going to make it like you got wrinkles when you don't even have wrinkles it's just fine lines so put pat the powder in we're going to go to the other side and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side just press it down Oh, 
all the places that you put the concealer don't forget your love lines this line there I normally like to put powder up there as well I normally like to leave it there for a little bit longer because that side of my if I don't do that step uh oh uh oh yeah I'm gonna look good for me so I have to always do that step There it is. Sweep it up. And I'm actually going to use this powder brush. It is not too dense. When it's too dense, I feel like I find it like rubbing off my foundation. So I don't like it too dense. It's exactly perfect for me to use. We're going to go in to blend everything in with the powder. And I like the powder because the powder is actually my foundation shape and when I put it around it looks as if I've got bronzer on even though I don't. We are going to go in for this one here. This one here. I love it. It's the same one that I use for the crease. There it is. I'm gonna... Oh, oh, oh let me see. Yeah. There it is. I'm going to use that for the lower lid. So that helps to give it a bit of a smoky look. Right guys, now we're going to go in, in the inner corner of the eye with um, this one here. Now we're going to put a dot. Yes, honey, yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't get out of the way. Mm -hmm. I can tell you the color is rubbed off again. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to be using this deep shade of red from um, Locket. I liked it. I'm not really a red lipstick person, but. We're going to be trying red lipstick today. Hopefully, it goes with the look that I've done here. Ooh, so cute! The lash we're going to be using today is Bambi, there it is, and again it's from Coco Cosmetics, look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous, this is the lash we're going to be going for, how can I forget to put my lash on, how can I forget, going in with the mascara, I've got really really fine lashes and um, the mascara actually helps it, it gets rid of all the, um, the foundations and the excess stuff that goes on the lashes beneath it, so yeah, so it helps it bring the black back and also because I've got really fine lashes it actually helps it makes it thicker and it helps it become easier for my lash to grip onto something and is the Stalin Pro exclusive and this one is actually really good it does not irritate my eye never really found a really good lash applicator I've used quite a bit and I never really found one that I liked basically but this one is actually really good and the color it's um, like a black grey sort of colour as well so when you put it on it doesn't stand out which I like very much and it comes up very easily as well. I haven't actually worn this lash before, it's the first time I'm wearing it. I like the look of it. guys if you guys want to know where i got the lash from you know everything will be down there i love it so much i'm going to be putting mascara on the lower half of my eye set the makeup in i'm going to be using the urban decay all nighter setting spray mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -mm. <laughs> this is my first holiday look. I wish you guys can see it close up. The glitter is so beautiful in person. It's not even doing any justice in the camera. I hope you like this look. If you like this look, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and come be a part of my YouTube family. Bye, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Mwah. Love you guys.